Before you pray, do these two things if you want results. Hello my wonderful subscribers and viewers, thank you for your constant love and support towards the growth of the channel, may God's blessings never cease in your life in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Have you been praying and your prayers don't get answered, then it could be because you are not doing these two things I am about to show you. Please watch till the end so that you don't miss out on any point, like and subscribe and try to practice what you are about to watch and come back with your testimonies. It works. I don't know what else to do, Nancy. It's been 10 years, and still nothing. We've tried everything. Doctors, treatments, prayers. Why me? Why am I the one cursed to be barren? Sandra, I know it's hard. It's not fair, and I wish there was something I could say to ease your pain. But you're not cursed. These things happen sometimes, and maybe... Maybe it's just not your time yet. Not my time? How long am I supposed to wait? People who got married after me now have two, three children. Everywhere I turn, it's like the whole world is mocking me. Sandra. There might be another way. Another way. What are you talking about? Look, I know this might sound strange. But have you ever considered going to someone? I mean someone different. You know. Someone who deals with things that doctors and prayers can't. What do you mean? There's this woman I've heard of. Some people say she has powers, powers to help women like you. I'm talking about a traditional healer, a witch doctor. Nancy, no. I can't. That's... That's wrong. I can't go down that road. I know. I know. It sounds scary. But Sandra, you're desperate. You said it yourself. You've tried everything, and nothing has worked. What if this is the one thing that can help you? I don't know. It feels... wrong. But... But if she can help me... If she can finally give me a child... Just think about it. What do you have to lose at this point? Fine. I'll go. I'll see her. I've been expecting you, woman of sorrow. How? How did you know? The spirits told me. They say you are seeking the fruit of the womb. Is that not why you're here? Yes. I... I've tried everything. I've prayed, I've seen doctors. I just want a child. Please, help me. The path you seek is not without its price. The spirits demand something in exchange for what you desire. What kind of price? I will give anything. I just need a child. Anything, you say? Very well. I will prepare a ritual for you. It will take time. But you must follow my instructions exactly, or else the consequences could be... severe. I'll do it. Just tell me what I need to do. You will return tomorrow night, when the moon is full. Bring with you a strand of your hair, a white cloth, and a piece of gold. Then, we shall begin. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. But I've come too far. I just want a child. I just want to be a mother. <laughs> what do you want? Good afternoon, Sandra. Is David home? No, he's not. What do you want? I came to talk to my son, to see how he's doing. As his mother, I have the right to visit. Can I come in and wait for him? David's not here, and you're not welcome in this house, Mama. You were never in support of our marriage, so why are you pretending to care now? Sandra, let's not go over this again. What happened in the past is done. I came here to check on David and to see if he's well. 
You may be his wife, but I am still his mother. Your son is fine. But don't act like you care, Mama. You've never supported us, and you've never accepted me. You made it clear you didn't want us together, so why come now? To gloat. To see if I'm still without a child, just like you wanted. Sandra, don't twist my words. I came here out of concern. But now, I see things haven't changed. This home is still filled with bitterness, and it's no surprise there's no child here. Please leave, I don't need you here. You will regret the way you're treating me, Sandra. I've tried to make peace, but you keep pushing me away. You act like you are the only one suffering, but you're making it harder on yourself. I don't need your fake concern. You were never on my side. You've done nothing but undermine me and make me feel like I don't belong in my own home. Well, let me make one thing clear, this is my house, and you are not welcome here. So leave. Now. Very well. But remember this day, Sandra. You may push me away, but one day, you will look for the supportive family, and you won't find it. This bitterness will consume you, Sandra. It's no wonder there's no joy in this house. Whatever. Sandra, what is going on? Mama came to visit and you threw her out of the house. What were you thinking? David, you know your mother has never supported us. She only came here to stir up trouble. I couldn't let her sit here and insult me in my own home. But Sandra, that's my mother. You didn't have to chase her away. You could have at least been civil. She came to see me, not to fight with you. How could you do that? Your mother has never been civil with me. She comes here with her judgments, looking down on me because I haven't given you a child. Do you think I don't know what people say? She's just like everyone else, thinking I'm the reason we don't have a family. Sandra, I know this situation is hard for you. For us, but you've been pushing everyone away. First, my mother, and now. I found out something else. What do you mean? What else? In fact, I don't think this conversation is working. Pastor, I don't know what to do anymore. Sandra is losing herself. She has been so consumed by this need to have a child, and now she's pushing my mother away and turning to dangerous places. She went to a witch doctor without even telling me. David, I can see that this has been weighing heavily on you. Childlessness can put a lot of pressure on a marriage, but turning to darkness isn't the answer. Have you spoken to Sandra about how you feel? I tried, but she doesn't listen. She thinks I don't understand her pain, but I'm hurting too. We have been praying for years, and nothing has changed. I don't know how to reach her anymore. David. This is a difficult journey, and sometimes, in our desperation, we lose sight of God's plan. Sandra is in deep pain, and she feels alone, like she has failed. But you both need to remember that God's timing is perfect, even when we don't understand it. I know, Pastor. But how do we come back from this? She's so angry, and now she has driven my mother away. I feel like I'm losing my wife. Pray for her, David. Pray that her heart is softened and that she finds peace. And when you speak to her, don't come from a place of judgment or anger. Come from a place of love, just as Christ loves the church. I'll try, Pastor. I'll do whatever it takes to save our marriage. Later that afternoon, Pastor Samuel visits Sandra at home. Sandra, how are you? David told me what's been happening, and I wanted to come and talk with you. I... I don't know what to say, Pastor. I've been so angry, so desperate. I just wanted things to be right, to give David a child. I never wanted to hurt him or anyone else. I understand, 
Sandra. Your pain is real, and it's valid. But the path you've taken is not the right one. You're seeking answers in places that cannot give you what only God can provide. But pastor, I've prayed. For years. I've cried out to God, and still. Nothing. I just felt like I had no other choice. Sandra, I need you to understand that there are two main things blocking your prayers from being answered. First, you are holding on to grudges, especially against your mother-in-law, and that unforgiveness is like poison in your heart. The Bible is clear on this, unforgiveness hinders our prayers. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Mark 11:25. But pastor, it's so hard to forgive when someone keeps hurting you, keeps judging you. How do I let go of that? I understand, Sandra. Forgiveness is not easy, especially when the wounds are deep. But forgiveness is not about excusing the behavior of others. It's about freeing your heart from bitterness. Jesus taught us that we must forgive as we have been forgiven. If you want your prayers to be heard, you need to release that grudge, no matter how hard it feels. It's for your healing. The second thing that is hindering your blessings is the fact that you have been so bitter lately and thus you have come short of the glory of God. You curse, hate and even quarrel with people. You've even sought help outside of God's will. You went to a place of darkness, seeking the help of a witch doctor, and that act has put a spiritual barrier between you and God's blessings. The Bible warns us against such actions. Deuteronomy 18:10-12. Let no one be found among you who sacrifices their son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens engages in witchcraft, or casts spells, or who is a medium or spiritist or who consults the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. Isaiah 48, 8 I am the Lord. That is my name. I will not give my glory to anyone else, nor share my praise with carved idols. I didn't realize how serious it was, Pastor. I was just so desperate. I thought it was my only option. I know you were desperate, Sandra, but in your desperation, you turned away from God's light and sought help in places that cannot bless you. Now, you must go back to God with a heart of repentance and ask for His forgiveness. Only then will the doors to your blessings be opened again. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9 God is always ready to forgive, Sandra, but you need to come to Him with a humble heart. Confess where you've gone wrong, release the grudges in your heart, and ask Him to cleanse you. Only then can the blessings you've been praying for flow into your life. No matter how you pray, you might not get results until you do these two things first. I see it now, Pastor. I've been holding on to too much pain and making too many wrong choices. I'll ask God for forgiveness, and I'll try to forgive Mama. I don't want anything standing between me and God anymore. That's the right spirit, Sandra. It won't be easy, but with God's help, you will find peace and healing. Remember, God's grace is sufficient for you, and His mercy endures forever. I will continue praying for you and David, but this journey of healing begins with you letting go. Sandra? What brings you here? Good afternoon, Mama. I need to talk to you. All right. Let's have a seat. Mama, I came here today because I need to apologize to you. I know that the last time you came to visit, I was rude, and I sent you away. It was wrong of me. 
I let my anger and frustration get the better of me, and I'm truly sorry. Sandra, it hasn't been easy for me either. I've only ever wanted the best for my son, and when I saw him struggling, I worried. I know I may have said things that hurt you too, but it's because I was afraid. I didn't mean to make you feel like you weren't good enough. I know, Mama. I realize now that I've been so consumed by my own pain that I didn't consider how much it was affecting everyone else, David, you, our family. I'm trying to make things right, and I want to start by asking for your forgiveness. Sandra, I can see that you're truly sorry. And if you're willing to make peace, so am I we've both made mistakes, but it's time to move forward. You're still part of this family, and I don't want us to be enemies. Life is too short for grudges. Thank you, Mama. I want to move forward too. I want us to have peace, for David's sake, for all of us. I'm sorry for everything, for how I treated you. Can we put it behind us? Let's put the past behind us. I'll be praying for you and David. I know it's been hard, but I believe that God will answer your prayers in his own time. Heavenly Father, I come before you tonight with a humble heart, asking for your forgiveness. I have sinned by seeking help in places that are not of you. I turned away from your path, and I ask you to forgive me, Lord. Your word says in 1 John 1, 9, If we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, I confess my mistakes before you now and ask for your mercy. Please cleanse me, and help me walk in your light again. In Psalm 51, 10, it says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Lord, renew my heart. I don't want to carry this guilt anymore. Please, restore me, and guide me back to your will. Father, I also bring my deepest burden before you, my childlessness. For so long, I've been desperate, trying to take matters into my own hands. But tonight, I surrender it all to you. Your word says in Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I trust that you have a plan for me, Lord, even if I don't understand it now. I place my future in your hands. Father, just as Jesus prayed in Luke 22:42, not my will, but yours be done, I pray the same tonight. Whether you bless me with a child or not, I trust your will for my life. I know your timing is perfect. I leave my hopes and my heart in your hands, trusting you to do what is best. Let your will be done, Lord. Amen. Father, I trust that you hear my prayer. Thank you for your forgiveness and for giving me another chance. In Jesus' name, Amen. Mrs. Sandra, I have some news for you. You're not sick, you were six weeks pregnant. Wait. What did you say, doctor? You were pregnant, Sandra. Six weeks along. Congratulations. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. I'm pregnant. Yes, Sandra. Everything looks healthy. You are going to be a mother. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I am going to be a mother at last. Oftentimes, we are the cause of our unanswered prayers. If you pray with an unforgiving heart or with a sinful heart, then you might be wasting your time. Before you pray, Always make sure you have made peace with both man and God if you want your prayers to be answered. Thank you for watching. Please share this video out to your family and friends. It could be helpful to someone. Also kindly support the channel by hitting on the subscribe button below. Like our video, leave your contributions or experience in the comment section below and remember to turn on post notifications to the channel for more interesting and life-changing videos. God bless you.